for our nighttime blend tonight, we are trying something new. It is three parts cedarwood to two parts lavender. So I think we're going to do nine drops of cedarwood and six drops of lavender. Um, we've been talking about doing this for a couple weeks, so I'm excited. Okay, sorry, this is like a little um, off center. <laughs> I have my phone sitting in the wheel. Um, so, good morning. Uh, it is about 4.30. Um, I slept too much again, but um, it's okay because I needed it. I slept probably like t 9 or 10 hours, so I needed it. Um, and all I'm doing right now is I'm taking Adrian's car. I'm going back to the area I live in. It's only like half an hour away. And um, about a mile from my house is where my grandma lives. And um, I'm going in today to make dinner for her. Um, and she doesn't eat uh, like with people, so it would be nice for me to have dinner with her. Um, and my mom sent me a list of stuff that needs to be done. No laundry, but it's like vacuuming the carpet and I have to wipe down the floor in the bathroom. So thankfully, I'm gonna be busy today. Um, I felt guilty the other uh, time that I went last week. I felt so guilty because like, I wasn't, like there came a point where she was sleeping and I had nothing to do, but like, I was waiting to be picked up. Uh, I don't know, I was just like, I don't know. It was better. So, you yeah, know, I mean, if I, I am assuming that I got rid of this whole um, infection situation and that, you know, we're good, that I don't have anything to worry about. I don't have to be hospitalized, knock on wood. But, um, but yeah, like, everything's okay. Um, oh, I had my infusion today. Uh, guess who didn't show up for their infusion? Me. It was today's Tuesday, and I thought it was on Thursday, so I missed my infusion, which is, well, at this point, whatever, honestly. Um, and I see my doctor, the one that I've been waiting for about, like, four months for. I see him on Monday in New York City, so I'm excited um, and nervous. I know I have POTS at this point. Like, I do know I have it. Um, but I don't know where he's going to go with medication. Um, and then what I really need to get myself on top of is getting a primary care. I really need to find a primary care. And I know that the primary care, um, there's a few things that I need to be tested for that I think only really primary will do. So I have to get myself on that. So yeah, so I will probably, because also sorry that I've been so obsessed with time lapses recently. I really don't know why. Um, but you'll probably see some today of me like cleaning and cooking. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm driving back. And dinner is ready. So my grandma really never cooks for herself. Um, and her memory's like not good. She has my, uh, not mild. I think now it's considered moderate dementia. But, um, so she doesn't have home cooked meals in a while. So yeah, they just cooked for us and then have to do some cleaning. Um, I don't even know how much we have here for. I'm here for another two hours. That's enough time for a lot, so. I will update you guys as the day goes on. I really wish, I, oh no, you can see. I wish it was just a little easier to see my clip flowing. That's pretty, that's pretty apparent. All right, so it's about eight o'clock. I am walking back to the car right now. Um, it was fine. Um, I had to like clean the bathroom up. I cooked um, and I cleaned all of that stuff and I cleaned, I think I said this, I cleaned the bathroom, um, I took the garbage out, I did like, everything, but um, sometimes, like I'm not going to lie, like I let things roll off my back a lot of times with this type of stuff, but it's just hard, um, she's very judgmental and that's 
much, partially because of how she is and partially because of the dementia she has. So it's the only thing that's kind of hard about it. Yeah, so like I was saying, that's um, one of the things that's very hard is she's very judgmental. Um, her viewpoint of, um, or like her stance on like life and her life, not life, but her life specifically is very, um, like inaccurate, um, where things are, um, it's like she, she remembers just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like inaccurate in the sense that like she thinks that things were this way that she remembers it, but like it isn't, I don't know. And she does argue with my mom like on a daily basis because she thinks that my mom just like picked up um, you know, and brought my grandma here and that, like, you know, it's, um, that she had everything that she needed back home. But when she was living by herself, and I'm, so I'm from New York, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but I'm from New York, I'm, like, uh, half an hour out of New York City, um, so my mom and my grandma are from Kansas, and so for a couple of years, for, like, I think it was, like, two years, she, like, wasn't leaving the house, People weren't coming to see her. She, her um, second husband, he died when my mom was like a senior in college. So she's been alone and she wasn't taking care of herself and she gained so much weight. And like, but the, when she talks about living at home, she thinks that like right when my mom took her, that like she... she was still going out and seeing people and doing things when it hadn't been going on for years so like yeah so basically she gets really mad at my mom a lot because of um just her the way her memory is um having her take pills is really hard because she doesn't remember if she's taken them or not and like my mom goes over every day to see her but like I, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how she does it, but I think actually now that I'm going like twice to three times a week, then it's going to lessen the amount of times my mom has to go, which is really good for my mom. Um, but yeah, she, she'll start full-blown arguments. She doesn't understand that like there's illness out there that can't be cured. Um, so she doesn't understand my health and like, she'll just say, and I try to just like not talk to her about it, but it's like, It's hard because she, um, she th thinks that everybody is able to just go to school and finish school and then enjoy it so much and then find a job and everything's going to be so easy. It's like she doesn't realize that there's other ways of living and that there are reasons that I'm not done with school. Um... If you want to learn more about that, I'm putting a link in the description. That's kind of a, a disclaimer for what's going on in my life right now, like why I'm not in school, like full time in school, and why I'm not working full time anymore. But um, basically, like she doesn't see that like I can be sick and be on medication and still be sick. Um, she thinks that there are these like quick fixes. I don't know. I didn't even know how to explain it. It's just like, she doesn't see things from the accurate perspective. And she is very like, she is a, like a register or an ordained minister, excuse me. She's an ordained minister and she like, just doesn't see things like they, I don't know how to explain it. She just doesn't see things like they are. Um, so I'm going to, I can explain more of this probably later. Um, and anyway, so I'm going to drive back to my house. I had to drop her keys off to my mom and then I'm going to drive back to Adrian's. Um, I don't think we're really doing anything tonight. I think we're just going to like hang out. Um, so 
so yeah, um, that's about it, that's about it, I'm getting ready to leave right now, so, I will see you guys in probably a couple hours, so, yeah, see you in a few. So it's pretty much 11 o'clock, and I'm just leaving Target because I had to pick up a few things. Also, I never gave an update on the Sleep Like Log blend that we did last night. Um, it was cedar wood and lavender. I think I thought I wasn't going to like it, um, and it was great. I loved it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's another thumbs up on the, the diffuser checklist, and I'm trying to get back so I can watch three quarters of this basketball game I've been wanting to watch, so. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I was with my parents for a very long time. And I'm at the car now, so I'll see you guys later. Current, currently, sorry. Currently, um, saving all of my videos for my, um, for my vlogs for the month of April, um, I'm exporting them off my computer and importing them on this um, uh, additional hard drive, external hard drive I have. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch Fargo, which we've been watching. Um, and I, it's my turn to figure out what to put in the diffuser, so I gotta figure that out. And I'll let you guys know. Good night, guys. Watch Fargo. Watch Fargo, it's amazing. Good night.